Hello, my name is Inosa. Welcome back to my channel. This is Work and Wonder. On this channel, we talk a lot about the mental health OSCE. And if this is your first time, please make sure you click on the subscription button and turn on the notification bell. And anytime I upload a video, you will be notified and you can come straight here and take a look at whatever video that I have uploaded. Today, I'll be talking about a very important update that the NMC UK has brought up, which is updates to OSCE and then the accompanying material. So usually when you're done with with your OSCE um, in your email you get more or less like a link where they normally ask for your feedback with regards to what happened in the exams hall and whether there are any things that they could change so usually um, either two years or three years the NMC review these documents and then if there is a particular station where a lot of people are talking about it in terms of time or whatever it is, they are going to try as much as possible to sort it out. So in 2021, November, they added some stations and then um, some more topics to the professional values and then the evidence base. And this year, 2024, July, they've, they've also made some changes to some of the stations in the OSCE, be it the adult nurse and be it um, the pediatric or the mental health. But my focus is going to be on the changes that has come up with regards to the mental health nursing OSCE. In fact, not a lot has you know changed, but then um, there is one change that if you are not very careful, you will not be able to notice it. So I'm doing this video so that I'll let you. I'm draw. I'll, I'm so I'm doing this video to draw your attention to that particular change that has happened in the mental health nursing OSCE. So I'll take you to my screen. As you are seeing, this is the NMC website, and then you could clearly see that updates to OSCE and accompanying materials as you can see so june 2023 midway free this is for midway free and then this is for all pathways so i'm going to click on this one this plus button i also leave the link in the description so that you can have access to that so as you can see clearly from here as part of our routine maintenance to and to ensure that the test continues to be reliable and authentic, we have made a number of changes following the feedback our test designs and development partner have made some updates to the preparation materials to improve clarity as well as to address some changes in the clinical practice to support those that are taking the test. So clearly, you can see that they've made some bit of changes in terms of the materials now. One thing about the NMC is that they don't always want to have issued with their marking criteria. Sometimes there could be a statement in the marking criteria where if I read it, it's going to make a different meaning to me. And if somebody else also read it, the person also picks a different meaning from that. That is what they don't want. They want it to be as clear as possible. So when you look at the marking criteria, sometimes they try to change it to make it the language very, very simple so that if I am reading it and somebody else is also reading it, we come to understand that it means the same thing for me and then for the other person. So there is some, they've made some changes to uh, some of the marking criteria. They've added a few things to that. And now let's see, so uh, the nursing station time, and this is one of them that they change nursing station timing if it comes to that the change is that fluid balance timing increase from 12 minutes to 14 minutes and then uh, msu and urinalysis timing increase from 8 to 12 minutes so you can see this is much with regards to the adult nurses um they've made a change when it comes to your fluid balance they've made a change from the 12 minutes to 14 minutes and then of course from the midstream urine and then the urinalysis timing too they've changed that from eight minutes to um, 12 minutes as well and then why we made these changes feedback from the candidates and our test delivery partners indicated at the time available for these two stations were not sufficient so as i said if they are getting a lot of feedbacks with regards to this station that the time is not enough for them to complete then most definitely they are going to act on that so that is a change that has been done so for the adult nurses who are watching now your fluid balance and then your msu and your analysis the time have changed from what it used to be to um, from 8 minutes to 12 minutes for the MSU in your analysis and then for the fluid balances from 12 minutes to 14 minutes. Now OSCE supporting documents. Now there is a new PEWS chart added. That is the uh, National Early Warning Science for Pediatrics. They've now added one to it as well. So if you click here, it's definitely going to take you to the supporting materials where you will see that that has been added. Towards the end of this video, I'll send you there and then I'll show you um, where you can find that that is for the children nurses so you can find that there 
and of course the new the national the new national pews chart has been implemented in clinical practice so whenever there is a change in clinical practice and the documents that the NMC is using is outdated. They try as much as possible to do some changes to their document as well so that they will always stay on top of things. Now, if we look at the adult children mental health and nursing associate marking criteria, changes to the ANTT procedures, the you know the wound dressing procedure, they've they've made some changes to it. Now it says that you use the use of gloves and apron has been reduced to only the station where they are used is clinically relevant. Sometimes you know some of these stations you might be even wearing a prod and then you just be walking about, you know, at the point where you are not supposed to wear it. So now they are saying that you only wear it when it where it is clinically indicated. And then in the ANTT station, candidates are no longer asked to follow the clean hand, dirty hand approach. There was this clean hand, dirty hand approach, which was used in the adult nursing. Now there is no need for you to also use this approach again and then the feedback or why they made the changes that the ANTT technique has changed in clinical practice so mostly if there is a change evidence-based change in the clinical practice most definitely NMC is also going to affect that in the OSCE because at long last when you do your OSCE and then you pass you are going to go into the clinical setting so sometimes they do changes to some of these so now when is this going to take effect so it says that all test delivery centers will be using the updated material from the 9th september 2024 so if your exams is um you know on the eighth or is it's not gone beyond the ninth then you are not affected but if your exams goes beyond the ninth then most definitely you'll be using the new one so it says that which will give candidates and employers time to prepare and incorporate the updated preparation materials into their learning and preparation programs. If your exam is before the 9th September, then you should continue to use the existing versions of the materials. If your exam is on or after 9th September, you should prepare by using the updated materials. So if your exam is on the 9th, you will be using the updated material. But then if it is not before the ninth, it is anything from the eighth coming downwards, then you can still use the old version of the materials that they have on their website, which I'll be showing you in a bit. And now part of the development will actively, part of this development will actively discourage root learning. So all candidates should be encouraged to review their exams papers as they may be given a different scenario to test the failed station at their resets. This is very, very, very important. Part of the development would actively discourage root learning. So all candidates should be encouraged to review their exams papers as they may be given different scenarios to test their failed, um, their failed skill at their resets. So what used to happen was that if you fail something like implementation and then you go back, you are most likely to be given the same question, the same scenario, but now, what they are saying is that um, it's the same station that you would be doing, but you would be given a different scenario on implementation. If you feel the assessment, when you go back, you may be given a different scenario on the assessment. So this is something that you should take note. If you are failing a station, yes, it's the same station you are writing, but the scenario that was given, they will change it because they've seen that um, over the years people fail and then they go for the same thing and then it's more or less like the same thing that you know they will learn and then go and write but this time around they can change the scenario for you so that is one very very important thing that you should take note of now these materials updated materials are here but as, as i said my interest is in the mental health um, nursing um, OSCE so we are going to click on the mental health and then we'll look at um, the changes that um, you know has um, been affected. Clearly, I've gone through all these materials, and honestly speaking, nothing much has changed with regards to the marking criteria. It is still ten stations. When it comes to 
the API station, you, you are still doing your assessment, your planning, your implementation, and then your evaluation. And then when it comes to the skill station, that is where there is a change. And when it comes to the evidence base and then the professional values, there is no change there as well. Some, some of them, I think one or two weddings have been changed in the marking criteria. But when I went through, there wasn't much of a change. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go straight to the skill station and I'm going to show you exactly what has changed. So when it comes to the skill stations and the mental health OSCE, you are still doing six and then out of this six or you are learning six and then out of this six, you would be given four of them or you would be examined on four of them. But one thing that I found very interesting is that they did not mention in you know their, their write up that they have changed the they've introduced intramuscular injection and then have taken off the suppository. It was when I was going through the marking criteria that I realized that the suppository which used to be, or which is even still a skill station in the mental health OSCE, mental health nursing OSCE has now been replaced with intramuscular injection. So all those that have their exams on the 9th or beyond the 9th, take note that the skill station which is which was suppository has now been changed to um, intramuscular injection and they've provided a marking criteria for it so that is what you are seeing on your screen now so they've kind of provided a marking criteria to it so as you can see intramuscular injection and this is what the skill station so there's a long you know marking criteria about 17 points which you need to study if your exams is after the 9th of September. Basically, that is just the only change that they did in the mental health OSCE. Aside that you still have the six skill stations. So you can see, as you can see here, you have the intramuscular, you still have your de-escalation, you still have your nutritional assessment, you still have your physiological assessment, you still have your reminiscence therapy and the talking therapy, which is the last one so yes six still six skill stations and out of this you'll be doing four but then take note that the suppository administration has been changed to intramuscular um, injection so yes updated nursing timing so that is what you should be looking for when you come here under it you see that the updated nursing timing so let's see as i was saying the mental health Assessment is still 20 minutes, planning is still 14 minutes, implementation is 15 minutes, and evaluation is 8 minutes. Now let's go to the mental health. So here, the mental health, we have de-escalation, which is 8 minutes. We have nutritional assessment, which is 8 minutes. We have re reminiscence therapy, which is 8 minutes. Talking therapy, which is 8 minutes. Physiological ops is 10 minutes. And the intramuscular that they have introduced is 12 minutes minutes so you can see that on the main page the timing is still the same but when you come to the updated one then you can see that this particular station has replaced the suppository and then of course they've also allocated a time to that and then the professional values is still 10 10 minutes and i think the um, professional values and then the evidence base both of them are still 10 10 minutes so yes basically this is the changes or the update um this is the changes that they have done and then this is taking effect from the 9th of september 2024 my mental health nurses basically your api station still remains the same no changes have been made to that it is your scale stations that your suppository has been replaced with intramuscular and it is 12 minutes the timing also remains the same for um, you know, the other stations or it still remains the same just like it used to be with the exception of the intramuscular which is 12 minutes and then when it was suppository I think it was 10 minutes but then in the suppository it used to be 10 minutes but then they replaced it with intramuscular which is 12 minutes so yes, those of you that were asking of the changes that is the changes that they've made to the mental health OSCE. If there are any questions, you can put them in the comment section and of course, I'll be more than willing to answer. And I also put the link to this particular updated 
version of the materials in the description you can just click on it and then it's going to take you there where you can have access to the um, you know the pages that i was showing you on my computer my name is enos and this is work and wonder until i see you in my next video it is a bye for now